street or whatever, make another parking area, and I'm going to make the whole thing an outside beer garden. Larry. Homegram. Hamgram. Hooties across the street. Mm hmm you could probably get about 10 cars if you rotate it down. Says she knows this guy real well. He lost his liquor license. And she was going to come over last Saturday and she had to meet some people. Everybody confused that there's a Hooey's. I know. That's what I already tell you. That's the one that the fucking black twins live, work at. And then, they, then you got Hooties across right. the street from like big. Exactly. But she said this Larry that owns Hooties lost his liquor license and he's been going down to the county market and buying booze and selling it on weekends over there. I believe it. And she said, he'll ask top dollar for it, but he would sell. What it's worth, I have no clue. Well, we don't want it right now. We just want to get that plaza right now. But what I want to do is I want to buy the house. Is the one side. I want to buy that. That way I got parking on both sides. Well, I told him that. I said, and then I want to turn that whole thing into an outside beer garden. Yeah, I know you do. Because all those houses right there, did you know they're not owned? They're all rented out. They're all rentals. All of them. Well, pretty much because of Peggy is on side of that side of town. She knows a lot of those people. And majority of those houses right there on 12th Street are rentals. Told me she said... When the blind pig was open, it was not a nightclub, but she said when it was open, a lot of those houses around there were the blind pig's customers. Yeah, they exactly. liked it. But uh, to give you an idea, right behind Bob's house, which a lot of people don't know, my uncle owns all those houses. He owns the one that's right behind it. Then my aunt lives in the next house. By the way, that's uh, Jack Holschlag. That's his mother-in-law. That's my aunt. Okay. So it goes my uncle's houses and then Jack. So I get all Bob's and then my uncle Eddie would sell to me in a heartbeat. Actually, probably just give it to me so I can turn that entire area right there up until the parking, up until the alley, um, a parking lot. Well, that's what I told Jan. I said he'd like to tear down hoodies and turn that into a parking lot. Mm -hmm. She said. And I also want to do the other side of the street too. And that where Freeze's video used to be, which is a church, which they're not keeping up with their rent or anything else. They want to get them out of there. Plus that one house is for sale. I'd like to get that too and turn that into a parking lot. So you got if you got if I can get three parking lots around it, around it, yeah. Then I can actually add on, and I I don't even I can have an outside beer garden, but I can make the building so big the beer garden can be on the roof. You take care of yourself. But that's just like future plans. That if I can make that, you know, that way the parking lots will be all across the street. But then you can go, you know, how big I can make that place. This, this truck driver also said about a beer garden. He said with the smoking laws and stuff. He said that's necessary. He thought, and he said. Would that interfere with? He's been by the plaza. He said, "Would if, uh, if he said if he puts a beer garden out there, how much parking space would that take away from your parking space?" A lot. Like I said, right now I don't. I I, I would have to do some. But you know what? That that's just that's. I'm worried about that later. You know why? Because like I said, there's always something to do, and people can park in the street if they have to for right now. Well, if could you if you kept your whole. Because I'm changing the whole look of the place over a couple of years. I'm having the plan that the place is all going to look the same. It's going to be really nice, retro, and it's going to be up to date. Well, could you, well, you have to put your beer garden on the lower level. Could you put it upstairs? Yeah, that's why, I, that's why if I got everything going the right way I want, I'm going to increase the size of the building for that entire property. We'll need nothing but building, yeah. and then the top part will be the beer garden. And that'd be legal, too, because it's outside. Exactly. But, it also, but then that would give me a chance to put in an elevator. And I can make the, like I said, I think about it, I could dig out the parking lot where it's at now, you know, and I make the entire basement, I can make it bigger than anything, but I just need, I wouldn't have any of that parking anymore. No, you wouldn't. But I can take all that out and after a while, after I get those other areas, you know, and then I put all my stuff on the upper floors. The only thing but then that, that would gives me a chance to put an elevator in there. If you put an <laughs> elevator in there, then you're perfectly legal. She was just, she wasn't kidding. It would be, it's going to cost more than Main Street if I do when I do all that, but that's why I want to do it over the next couple of years. It's a 10-year deal. Somebody comes in and say, every year, we do something different. We do the new thing. And if that means we have to buy property across the street. Well, Pe Jan, Jan and Peggy were talking, and she said, I'm not kidding, but she said, I know you're trying to get the initial building first. We've got to start there first. But she said, why wouldn't Jeff just eliminate that whole parking area and build on and make that just one big fucking nightclub? Well, I plan on it, but i got to have parking first. See, I, I, I'm not looking that far in the future, but I still need some parking. See, your parking lot would be... I know what you a, mean. A building for a nightclub. Go, uh, attached That's to what I just big. got done saying. Yeah. That whole thing's going to be building. Yeah. That's why I said I can dig a bigger basement out yeah. all the way to the, where that retrain, uh, restraining wall is on the north side. Remember that? Where I, then there's a house, you know? Yeah. Build the basement. In other words, it'll still make the basement a lot bigger. Yeah. 
new construction for a brand new concrete and everything else, then make it three floors again. Hey, wouldn't that be grand? It'd be awesome. And like I said, that's what I'm saying. I'm planning, but you know, you do one project at a time. First project, getting the building. Once we get the building, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I, we start I'm just renovations. Because I don't give a fuck what anybody Once says. we have something, I bet you we can get some other people to come in and, and get involved. I know but, we can too. And so there's Peggy and Jan, that's what they're working on. Well, what I'm trying to say is, she said, don't that make you fucking nervous? This is just a little while ago before you showed up. I said, what the fuck are you talking about? She's, she's work, really working her ass off on this. She said, this guy could sell this motherfucker any time. He said, then we go to a different project. I'm tired, but I, and trust me, of all people that knows, I don't got money. I ain't got nothing. I've been doing everything in my power to clean yeah. my name up, to get everything, get people back on, you know. When people tell me nowadays... Well, I guess we just don't want to lose a blind pig, is what we're saying. We didn't want to lose Main Street either. I would. I'd take that back in six, six seconds. It might still be for sale. We just don't know. Well, it's for sale. No, I mean, I don't think it sold to those Macomb people. I don't either now. But, uh... If you want, yeah. to, if you want somebody to go into that one, let's go get that one then, but... Dad, uh... I went still into, I still have all the plans for that one too. Dad went into uh, Central State Bank, and of course Chuck won that. I know. I I helped him. And he's he's not going to be in the bank anymore. And yeah, he is. He said he told the girls at the front desk said that uh, they're going to lose him after the November election. Oh. But anyway, something come up about uh, bars and clubs and stuff like that. He said, and his member said, you know. Like a nightclub on Main Street, he said we're still responsible for that. And uh, Dad said this Friday because Dad and Chuck are good friends. He said, "Sell it." He said, "Never got the right money for it. It's for sale." So I don't know where this fucking Lacey got this fucking deal with this Macomb group. I know. I just can't. I just can't find anybody to help me. I can't find anybody to help me with anything. So. <laughs> but uh, from reading between the lines. Somebody will walk in there with three hundred seventy-five to four hundred thousand. I know. They're going to have the keys to that fucking building. But it's going to cost a lot more for the upkeep and the upgrade. And... See, the problem with that place is I made it really big, but because of the guy killing himself, the fact is, you need more. It's not done, and that see that they don't know that because they're dumb. But and the reason why I never had the blueprints and wouldn't give the blueprints to anybody is because. I wasn't done, and that's the reason why it's so hard to manipulate that place, because people can't, they don't see it. People that just want to buy a building and steal somebody else's ideas, they don't have the same, they don't, they can't see past their own fucking greed. Me, I could see past the greed. That's the reason why, instead of making money on the place, I got the majority of it built. But, you know what, nobody, everybody wanted to fuck me over. Well, I guess McKinnon don't give a fuck, because... They're satisfied with just uh, leasing that place. What, what would you? They only pay a $1,000 a month for rent. But how can you make money on eight hours a week? That's easy. It's the only nightclub in Quincy. Think about it. Backwater's gone. Yes, there's other nightclubs, but they're all dives. Think about it. Being the best of the worst is still being the best. It's true, but Jerry cuts, uh, cuts my hair down on 3rd and Main said... Uh, that doesn't really have a real good reputation. People aren't going there as much as they used to. No, but neither does uh, Twilight Zone, neither does Casino, and neither does frickin' Ports Place. Well, that's true. And that place underneath Third Down, or used to be, dollar. that ain't nothing worth bragging about either, no. which I told you it wasn't. That's what Jamie said, uh, Peggy's friend. He said there's no place to really say, Quincy, Illinois has got a great nightclub. We don't have shit, he said. I did for a while, but you know what? Nobody would want. Nobody, nobody wanted to listen to a twenty-some-year-old kid. And I was right the whole time. Guess what? Have they gone anywhere? Have they, other than getting rid of me, have they gone anywhere? Have they got anywhere? Has anything changed? No. No. It's gotten worse. And they keep bragging about all these other businesses and stuff, and those businesses aren't doing any better. No, I know it. I know it. But I, but I understand now. They have all that help down there, and they're not able to do shit. What help? With the historic business district oh, yeah. and everything else, right? We didn't have any of that, and we were able to maintain. Yeah. I had all those lawsuits, the bank. I had fucking, you name it, was coming after me, and I was able to keep those doors open. Yeah, they know. have no problems now. They pay a 1000 a month, only open air hours a week, and they're fucking struggling like never before. But they have no problems. That's they're, what gets me. They're not it, struggling because of, uh, they can't get a first to come in the door. They're struggling because... They are treated so bad, nobody wants to go there. They're struggling because they're greedy. Because they don't they, they don't have the concept for this business. No. Neither does anybody else in this Quentin. You know, that's why we're having a hard time. People, they look at their stuff. They're not going back looking at their finances. They're looking at, I know nothing about the, you know, if you go buy a car, 
Well, you can tell if there's dents or something on a car. You might be